So my wife and son have left the homestead. So I took Zula and Flame to the airport the other day. They will be traveling to Sweden for a few weeks. They have a couple of things that they need to do and they want to visit some friends and family. So that gives me a couple of weeks here on the homestead where I have to prepare. Winter is on its way and in Mongolia that is really no joke. It will be really, really cold, but a dry cold. But because of all the construction we have been doing, it's a complete mess everywhere. There's a couple of things that I need to sort out before they get back. It's nice coming in here, having a cup of coffee in the morning. Since it is warmer in here than it is in a house with the fire and heat is going, which is a big problem and we need to sort that out. But these are a few things that I need to get done while they're away so that when they get back, things are ready for winter. Let me explain. For those of you who are new to the channel, my wife, my son and I moved to Mongolia beginning of last year to set up this self-sustaining homestead. Our first plan was not to buy a house that was already built, it was to build our own house here in Mongolia. But of course with a newborn baby that was difficult, so we got this place that was already built. But it was built really badly, badly insulated, which means it gets extremely cold inside the house. So having to chop a lot of wood, plus we have heaters going, but it's still not enough. So we're going to have to do some stuff in there to to be able to survive the entire Mongolian winter here when it could be minus 40 and it will be cold in that house. I have these few weeks. I'm gonna get some help from Zula's family and uh, I'm gonna do some insulation inside. Get some floor heating in there and warm it up. But I wanted to do something a little bit different for this video and I'm not gonna build anything or make anything today. I just want some time and chat with you guys. A little bit since we have quite a few new subscribers since we moved to Mongolia we moved to this house put in water put in showers and started on this geothermal greenhouse which has been an extremely extremely ambitious task to build something like this in Mongolia it has the geothermal system but we haven't started it up yet and it's the temperatures on there are fantastic. It's working very, very well as a passive solar greenhouse, but we want to get the geothermal system hooked up. So I have been starting to work on the electrical components. So next week we'll start putting in all the electrical and getting the geothermal part working. But I just wanted to take the time and say, you know, it's fantastic. We got our goal of 10,000 subscribers. A few days ago and we're absolutely over the moon you know this dream of ours to live more self-sustaining and be more self-sufficient is really not easy it's it's harder than we thought but we, we're getting there hopefully we can start to be more self-sufficient in one thing at a time and build this up we couldn't have this dream or do this without your help YouTube is our only source of income that's why we put so much work into into that and when you guys comment and like the video it really supports growing our channel that is our yeah our only source of income and it's not much it's not enough to survive so that's why we try to grow the channel as much as we can so we can carry on this dream of ours to have this homestead of course the things will be a little bit different when we have 
a greenhouse full of vegetables and things, we'll be able to support our family with food. And we will also do some sort of small business for our subscribers, do some very interesting things. And we will have that on a website, which we will set up for next year. Soon it will be too cold to work and build outside. So we will, it's gonna be very interesting. Maybe we do some little bit of different content during the coldest months here in Mongolia. And yeah, really, we'd love to hear more from you guys. That's why we thought about if we should do a live, uh, would you guys be interested in us doing a live with me, Zula and Flame? And then you guys get to ask us all the questions that you want. Please leave in the comments what you guys would be interested in a live show or what you guys would be interested in seeing during Mongolian winter. Maybe I can do some cooking videos or something, something else. We'll see. It's always great to read in the comments what you would like to see. It's great that we can grow this community together. If we could grow this channel to 100,000 subscribers, that would be absolutely amazing. And being able to continue to live this dream. So it's gonna be a challenge. It might take us a very long time, but we're going to keep on pushing and with your guys help and support I'm sure we can make this happen There are a lot of things we can do in Mongolia and There's a lot of things that we would like to do, but with your guys help it will be possible just want to say thank you guys we love you to bits and We couldn't do this without you so next week. I'll be back to getting these things done starting up this greenhouse and getting ready for winter guys love you so much and we'll see you on the next one bye